Well, everyone, Dylan here with my with another Lego Harry Potter Summer 2021 review, and this one is on a uh, Fox Dumbledore's Phoenix, or otherwise Fox the Phoenix, of course. Oh, which Target exclusive, of course. So on the front of the box here, have the Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, Wizarding World logo, of course, and also that interesting new border, like we've seen, which we're seeing for this current wave, but except has a blue. Uh, magic strip, whereas the others did have a, a yellowish one but for whatever reason, whatever. In picture of the set that there is, and the two mini things included, and age recommendation 10 and up, set number 76394, has 597 pieces. And flip to the back, you see the, uh, the couple of features of it and the dimensions of Fox, of course. And on to the instruction manual. Same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. And the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then after the uh, Hogwarts sections uh, sets that there are, which I am also reviewing. And the last building steps, of course. First of all, for the mini thing, Next we of course get an ex exclusive variant of Dumbledore, of course, with some nice torso print, leg prints, of course, and and put the face prints, which are kind of similar to the earlier versions that we've had for the last few waves, and also do get mini fig version of Fox the Phoenix, of course. Of which quite the same as it's been since the 2020 uh, collectible mini fig series, of course. And of course, Dumbledore, some interesting back torso print with the uh, hood piece uh, put on, tucked behind the back, of course. And there's his double side face. And just like the billable Hedwig set we had last year, do get where it's on a plate with a few tiles uh, uh, on it, of course. And that's about it with that. And now on to our main build, Fox himself. Oh, which very cool. Oh, no, no. So this, so the build of which Building features are just about similar to that of last year's uh, Bilbo Hedwig set, of course, but with some slight modifications. But I do think the modify parts do look good, of course. But as for the main base part of which, which does have the Fox's name on it and a single jumper piece, which I'll get to later, and also those corner pieces in gold, which really nice for mocking if you want to make some golden temple place or something definitely for that and also of course do get a little bit of gray down in there since obviously a phoenix is instantly reborn from the ashes of course and also do get some of those like top part uh jagged slopes also put to some nice use in this and also do get those uh, grooved column pieces this Obviously representing Fox's pedestal, of course. And also do get these uh, different uh, spiky pieces, like we see in the Monkey Kid line, of course, but used as talons, of course. Although I think maybe a couple of these could have been in red for, obviously, when Fox uh, claws at the eyes of the Basilisk in Chamber of Secrets, of course. But maybe that'd be a little too bloody. And, of course... I'll do got these few Technic pieces, of course, which get to the main feature, which I'll show later. And as for his uh, lower body, of which comprised of mainly light red and orange, with a bit of dark tan, which great color scheme, great for representing fire characters like we see in Generation 1 Bionicle, of course. But as for the tail of which, it does have... Plenty of good bits of posability, 
with these two back parts and up and down and these two side to side. And also do get a couple of Nexa Knights shield pieces in the red color, of course, but nothing off, but that's all right. And also some more of those corner pieces, of course. And also good snot all around. And as for the wings of which, also built similarly to head wings, obviously. Well, with the tip parts, which a lot of good use of those corner pieces, of course. And also plenty of good posability as well. Oops. And also do get a few other use of Technic beams there, of course. And similar build to Hedwig, obviously. And of course, do get one of them underneath kind of pieces, representing his chest, of course. But as for the head built part of which I which I think is built to pretty much perfection. Like do get one of those Chima claw pieces for a beak and also those like odd backwards pieces and of course Legend Chima claw pieces in solid bread. Very nice. And also do get one of those cornerish pieces for the neck, obviously. And of course has full range of movement because on a Mixel style ball joint for the head, and of course the neck swivels back and forth, so at least you can get good range of movement there. And that's for a little comparison with last year's uh, Hedwig little figure set. Like, oh, which, as you can see. It's kind of like the build of which is like modified a little slightly, but to represent as Fox compared to Headway, of course. Lines the wing build still similar, but and of course different build for the heads, of course. Oh, whoops! And as for the tail parts, of which Headway did have a lot more build to it. Compared to Fox, of course, and there are bases of which built quite differently. Since Hedwig's probably like a hardwood floor, and Fox's is like a golden podium. And of course, the fonts of which got the same, which I think is good. And of course, although head movement for Fox does have plenty more than that of Hedwig, of course, but I can forgive it. But of course, since they're different birds, obviously, like Hedwig is an owl, and of course, Fox is a phoenix, of course. And now, on to the main feature that both sets have is turning this crankpiece either or clockwise or counterclockwise. Oh, wait, it's clockwise. And you can make the wings turn, of which, of which I find great feature. But instead of all these those pieces in plain white, it's in like yellow and orange. Like, of course, you get those interesting technic pieces in there in orange. Great for mocking, obviously. Great feature, of course. Oh, and also where you can fit your uh, mini fig fox and headwake onto, of course. And so now, on to the final verdict. Overall, this I think is a great set. Oh, and also, also, we hope for some more creature builds like this, like Niffler and things, obviously. And also, whereas the builds of which done solid and also pretty much well represents Fox, of course. Although I think they could have had little different pieces for the talents, but I can forgive it. And not much else to say about it, but at least it's done gratefully. And hopefully they keep this up with some other uh, creature builds like this, of course. And so if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then definitely pick it up. And if you're looking to have a special fox near next to your Hogwarts display, of course. Also, definitely pick up.
And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.